guys, how you're all doing out there? This is uh, Thomas from Mars Moon Space TV, and I am back on the Martian surface looking for anomalies. And I found something that I posted uh, a week or two ago uh, on Facebook that is quite interesting, and it got a lot of likes. So I decided uh, to to bring it up and make a little video about it, so so you can see the anomaly in the, on an image where it's been processes and 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 on a raw image or on the raw gigapan. What we're looking at here in, in the background is uh, the gigapan from uh, Neville Thompson. It's uh, soul number 106 to 109 and it's a few souls put together in, in one gigapan. But let's have a look at the anomaly and I just have to click over here. Here we go. Have a look at this one. I put a little text on it saying a thousand years later and of course I cannot say what it is we are looking at. I can only say what I think it could be or possibly could be. I think it looks like something that is artificial created and that's why I chose to put up the images of the mass cam from the Curiosity Row next to it to make a similarity to what it could be and putting up the text a thousand years later, a few thousand years later. Why did you do that? Because to me it looks like something artificial created in a de degraded condition, something that has been laying out there for maybe a thousand, thousands of years or, or hundreds of years, who knows, and, and slowly decayed to something that we cannot recognize what is, but yet our brain still tells us that it looks like something. In my case, a, it, my brain tells me it looks like something, you know, from Curiosity Row. It looks like a mass cam or something, robotic mechanic uh, object. Uh, I, I cannot say it is so because I don't know. It could also just be a, a trigger fly, so to speak, uh, or, or just a simple uh, funny rock formation. But, but, but <laughs> oh god, there are so many funny uh, simple rock formations on the Martian surface. I, I'm, I'm not sure I, I believe in, in, in rock formations uh, much longer on, on the Martian surface, but this is the object that to me looks like a mechanical part uh, decayed over a thousand and thousands of years. I don't know what you guys out there think. Let me know. Uh, uh, use the comment box in, on Facebook or on, on, on YouTube or wherever you see this video after you shared it, of course, to your friends that has an interest in Martian anomalies. But let's go to the Gigapan and have a look at the Gigapan. This is the Gigapan made by uh, my good friend Neville Thompson. It is a great Gigapan. Let, let's just get it up in, in, in full screen up here. Here we go. And I'm going to take it a little bit down here. and. It is a beautiful gigapan, and we must remember that the objects that we are looking at are not huge. It's not giant objects that are meters wide or, or anything. Let's just find it here in, in the snapshot links. Just gonna click a little bit around here. Oh, that was the wrong way. Let's go the right way here. No, we were going the right way. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not trying to confuse you. <laughs> Let me see, where is my snapshot? Here we go. Let's have a look at it. Right here. Just gonna remove this one here. This is the object as it looks in raw condition. This is the raw image, non processed image. I think it looks like something that is artificially created, that is mechanic, uh, mechanical or something like that that uh, I think is something that has been laying out there for thousands and thousands of years, decayed to a condition where we no longer can recognize it for what it is, but we can only make similarities to what we think it could be. And, and in this case, uh, I think it looks like, uh, when you look at the object, uh, it looks like the top for mass came from from curiosity. I'm not saying, of course, it is not the mass came from curiosity. I'm just saying it looks a little bit like it. The straight lines it has is is uh, truly amazing. Let me just get it in here in the middle of the camera uh, uh, screen here. There are some some straight lines that that makes me wonder how are they created or uh, uh, and. and it looks like there is a, a supporting uh, beam uh, on, on the right side down on it. Uh, you can just see uh, light in between it and the rest of the object. Uh, this is an 
amazing object. I am pretty sure that this is not just a, a normal rock. Uh, I know many people who would say it's just a rock, but, but, but with all the images that I have been seeing from, from Mars and have processed it, I don't think it's just a rock. I think we got something here and of course NASA has rockified it uh, by giving it the colors of the surroundings. Uh, they would be able to hide a car right in front of you and just give it the colors of, of the surroundings and you would not even notice unless you were searching for something that was not uh, supposed to be there as, as I am. I am searching for evidence of, of life in the universe uh, or past life in the universe. Uh, in this case on, on Mars and that to me looks like something that could have been artificial created but but the purpose of it what it is I don't know I don't know let, let me just take uh, take us back to the picture here again and, and you can see uh, we're not speaking about rocky fire object which is basically giving a, 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 an object the same color as its surrounding if you looked down to the right side in this picture, just above the uh, the yellow uh, uh, writing saying marsmanspace.com, you can see I have actually added Curiosity Rover to, to the picture and I have rockified it, so to speak. I have given it the same color as the surroundings and, and I think if I didn't do much about the mast uh, and the back, but, but, but have a look at it and see how easily you actually could hide it. And I could hide it even more, but, but I still wanted to make it visible. Uh, it's so easy to hide objects uh, by rockifying it, by giving it the colors of uh, the surroundings. Uh, nobody would ever notice. I could have had Curiosity Row down in the right corner here 100% and, and still make it look like it's just a rock. And I think that is what we are looking at. We are looking at an artificial object that has been rockified by NASA to look like its surrounding, but, but, but the shape of it does not look natural to me. And that's why I choose to bring this object up for a further debate and make a little video about it. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Please uh, leave a comment in the comment box on YouTube or on Facebook and tell me what you think we are looking at. Are we looking at an artificial created object or is it just a trick of light and, and a simple uh, funny looking rock? Well, I cannot decide what you should tell me or, or say or believe. Uh, it's only you who can do that. So give me your comments and, and, and uh, your thoughts on it. And until we see you again, take care. Bye.